so excited. Hey guys, it's me Asha here. So today I will be doing my Percy. If you want. If you want. Okay. Percy's just gonna be there. Okay. Hi guys, it's me Aja here. So today I will be doing a haul. I've been waiting to do this haul forever. Oh my god, my neighbor is staring at me. The window, so let's just ignore that. We've got an audience here. Whew. Okay, so I will be doing the what is it called? I'm sorry. The the liquid lipstick haul. So I bought from two companies, from two brands, ColourPop and Lime Prime. And oh my god, it took so long for all of them to arrive. So I will be swatching the ColourPop here and the Lime Prime here. I'm gonna tell you guys the pros and the cons and the reviews and stuff like that. Let's go. So, but if you guys don't like these kind of videos, I don't recommend you to watch this video. I'm just gonna do who wants to watch it, who don't want to watch it. You can just click the video somewhere, somewhere around there. I have no idea. So, let's get started. The Colourpop and the Lime Crime. I don't know which one to start. I'll just do the Colourpop first. I suggest you to apply some moisturizer or lip balm before applying all of this matte because it's like ultra ultra super matte so apply this a Vaseline or any lip balm you want I'll just do Vaseline trust me your lips will say thank you to you if you wear this okay let's start oh <laughs> and again I will I will be looking there like here because there's a viewfinder but I will try <laughs>
that is all of the swatches I made and I put it on my lips for you guys. So this is the Colourpop one. First one. It's all of the shades and this is the Lime Crime one. So I will say all the pros and cons for Colourpop. I will say the pros and cons for Colourpop and the pros and cons for Lime Crime. Let's go. Okay, so from my point of view and based on my own honest opinion, so for Colourpop, the pros is it is very, very long-lasting. And Oh, Percy's awake. And it's super pigmented. Only need to put like one layer, like just one layer because it's super, super pigmented. It's no transfer. I mean, if you kiss your head or anything, it's just like match proof, mess proof or anything. Just look at my thing. It's like... And the color, uh, and the lime crime one is like so, so, so hard to get it off. It's like, uh, I need to put like double, triple layer. But color pop is just like so smooth. It's just probably the best, one of the best formulas for color pop. I really love all of the colors. It's so, so unique, and it's hard to get this this kind of colors. My favorite, my personal favorite, must be Bumble. Bumble is so nice. Bye, Bumble cons for Colourpop that it can be so drying and it can be not comfortable if it's too dry. It's like wearing cement on your lips. It's so so drying and it's like shrinking your lips. You feel? Do you feel me? Do you feel me? The struggle? Plus it lasted like the whole night and you don't need to reapply it again and again in the afternoon or at night. It is so long and so pigmented. I just love it. And the price is only $6. Go get it. So that is Colourpop. Lime Crime, on the other hand, Lime Crime for me, from my experience buying it, the website is shit. I tried to buy it, but then it just keeps like lagging and it's so stuck at the website that like, I can't choose the colors. It's so frustrating. Just, I hate. You just gotta be very patient with the website. But it took so long, both of them actually, but Colourpop arrived first then. Lime Crime. And Lime Crime is actually quite expensive than Colourpop. Colourpop is only 6 bucks. Lime Crime is I think 24 or 15? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. And the colours are also very very unique. On the other hand, just look at the difference between the colours. Just look. But I prefer Colourpop's range of colours rather than the Lime Crime one. And it's still very sticky. You can still feel like it's like glue. Like, see? But Colourpop is like nothing, nothing. It's so smooth. You never know, but I just like the color. Look, um, for Lime Crime as well, you gotta do double coats and triple coats. Because this one, I used double coats. Not only like a coat, like a single coat. You feel? But for my experience wearing Lime Crime, it can be patchy for like an hour. It will not be comfortable. It can be dry and it, you can peel it. You can actually... You know when I have like this habit to peel your lips when it's dry? Because my lips get dry so quickly. And then after an hour later, it's like dry and patchy. Like I can peel it right now if I want to. So yeah, I think that is all. I literally love Colourpop and Lime Cry. I wanted to burp. I wanted to burp. Probably the best liquid lipsticks I have are all Lime Cry. I actually like Poly. 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 And this one, I really like this one as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And if you want more lipsticks. Oh, I forgot. If you guys are wondering why I am not reviewing the Kylie Lip Kit, it's because I am going to wait another two more, two more colors to arrive. And then I will be reviewing and swatching and putting it on for you guys. So that will be in another video. But I'll just combine those two videos. And sorry if it's really, really long. I really love the two brands. And thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time. Bye! Let's do the thumbnail. Let's do the thumbnail. Hey guys, I just quick, <coughs> just a quick update for you guys. I just ate my lunch and I was wearing my Glam Crown lipstick. And look, it's like half of it is gone. And it's like you can get all your hand. And it's smudgy. So, just an update, um, it's really really different from the Colourpop one. From my experience, the Colourpop one was more like, like it doesn't smudge, it lasts all day, but Lime Crime, um, I don't know what to say. So, that's my update, okay, bye.